Hey everyone, so in this episode we're going to be styling our uh, website so it doesn't look uh, quite as bad and I'm going to try to keep this video short since this is a .NET Core tutorial. Uh, let's go ahead and make a, a, fol a CSS folder inside our www folder and uh, give our CSS file a site.css. Now we also want to import this file so go to the layout .cshtml file and put this right below the title here. Let's wrap, let's also quickly wrap our links in a nav tag. Go to our site.css and let's begin styling. So I'm going to take our nav, um, give it a background color. I like using matte, uh, sort of matte colors. For my uh, navbar, you can select any sort of color and go to this bottom region here. It will give it that sort of cool, cool dark color. So give it a height of 50 pixels with 100% and let's align all our text in the center. We also want to take care of our links. So quickly for all our links, I want to set the default color to white and text decoration, basically set it to none. Uh, so from the start, they're not going to be underlined. I want them to be underlined only when we hover over them. So text decoration, underline, cool. So this is going to be the default for our, for our links. Now here I want to set display to inline block and height give it a hundred percent. What this will do is basically make sure the links fill the full height of the nav bar. And let's give it a bit of padding so oh I forgot a semicolon here. So let's give it some padding so they're basically a little bit more spaced out actually probably don't even need the height since we'll have so much padding. Let's go ahead and run this. It's in full screen. Cool. Here's our uh, navigation bar. To, let's get rid of this uh, margin there. So zero. Zero margin for our body. Cool. So now our page is stretched out. Now let's go ahead and take care of our sort of main image for the for the site. So let's go ahead and create a class main image and background image. Since it is static, we can browse for it through here. Content static and wash. Here it is. And we want to uh, position it in the center. And we want to make sure, since the image is so big, we, we don't want to have it zoomed in. We want to sort of shrink it. So this is what this is going to do. Um, let's go ahead and quickly open our um, home index page. Let's commit this out and we'll give it, we'll create a new div with a class of main image. And also let's bring in a span here and say amazing blog site. All right, and let's give it a class of title. Cool. So let's create a class title. For this, let's give it the position of absolute since we want to place it in the in the center. Quickly, let's just refresh and see what we got so far. Okay, so the image is not there. Primary reason for this is because this container doesn't have a height. Okay, so now we have height and it's here and here's our amazing blog site 
So let's uh, make it a little bit more visible, give it a white color. Let's also make it bigger. So give it a font size of like 40 pixels. And uh, okay, so we can see it now. Let's position it in the center. So what we want to do is go left, zero. Oh, wait, 50%. And transform translate x minus 50%. So this is going to place it in the center. And then we want to place it like 35% from the top. So at the moment, it's going to uh, place it from the top of the whole page, so where the nav bar is located. So to avoid this, we want to uh, set the position of the main image to relative. If we refresh this, it will now align from the top of the actual of this actual div. So if we go to F12, Shift C, it's aligning from this div, not from the whole body. Okay, so the, you can see this text is a little bit blending in with the background image. So let's give it a shadow. So text shadow, uh, x and y zero, and give it eight pixels of black. Okay, so now it stands out and it looks pretty cool. Navbar is working. Next thing we want to take care is our of is our post. So first of all, let's create a container where we want to hold our posts and. Let's give it a max width of 800 pixels. And make sure it's always 100% like that. So let's quickly inspect it. Oh, wait, so we didn't add the container here. Container. You will see the container is sort of pushed to the left. So to align it in the center, we actually want to give it a margin of zero, uh, of auto, sorry. And this will distribute the uh, margin equally to the left, uh, right and left. So now let's go ahead and comment out, uh, comment out our list. We want to do co copy the for loop. And you can remove this code if you want. I'm just keeping it there for memory. Okay, get rid of this. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Also, open our post and grab this logic from here for assigning assigning an image. And move this image up here and replace the model with post. Okay, and let's give our link a class of post and wrap our title in a span. And let's give it a class of title, just like we did here. Let's see how this looks. Cool. So one thing, let's remove this width here. So we want this site to be responsive. The image, the image will kind of like uh, start bleeding out. And the test is over here. You can see this is the same problem which we would have because the post is not in a relative position. So let's go back here and let's handle this. So position relative. What else we want is the width to sort of always fill, but actually we don't need this since the image is so big, it will always fill it. And next thing, let's specify the height. We don't want it too big. So, so let's refresh, see how it looks. Cool. So the test is gone, but it's, it's lingering. It's it's somewhere there. <laughs> so let's create a. Uh, let's basically set width to a hundred percent for our image, so it's contained within the link. But if we do inspect, we see the image. But you can see this uh, link is all the way down there. So it's, uh, it's a bit of a problem. So to fix this, 
the same as we did for our navbar here, where we set it to inline block. We, but what we're going to do here is we're going to set display flex. What flex will allow us to do is to center the image vertically. If we go ahead and move our screen about, so like change the size of it, you can see it kind of like behaves different to the screen to the image up top there. So again, we want we can uh, fix that by doing object fit cover. Refresh. And there it is. So next thing is next. You can see it sort of like blends in together and uh, that's not good. So let's give our main body a background color and let's keep this one bright. Let's give it teal. A good no. Teal's no good, is it? Uh, quickly, like. Torquoise. It's too sharp on the eyes. Grayish color. Look cool. Yeah, I think that looks cool. Not really, but better than nothing. Um, <laughs> let's go to our post. <laughs> Give it a margin of five pixels. Okay, so you can see it sort of stepping away from the from the other elements. And let's give it a box shadow as well. And do five pixels zero of black box shadow. There we go. You can see it kind of looks like it gives it that 3D effect. Well not 3D two 2.5D looks pretty cool. All right, so if we go into our post here, this still looks pretty bad. So we have the container and we have the all the logic. We, we can reuse all the logic in here. So let's go ahead into our post. Let's uh, comment all of this out. And let's make a div container and let's make a uh, another div and we can make it a post and same as we did before let's just take this one put it in here and again remove the width and uh, let's take a span and in the span, we can use the title. And let's make a body. So, uh, post body. And then here, let's just render our model body. Okay. Uh, let's see what we get real quick. Oh, I uh, forgot to give this class title. There we go. It's unclickable. One thing we want to think you'd want to do is get rid of the shadow here and handle this uh, body. You can see it's sort of out of line here on this side. So let's make, let's first make a class no shadow where we say box shadow, none. All right, and next thing, uh, we gave it a class of dot post body, and so let's handle the margin. Let's give go minus five pixels to remove uh, to handle the margin for the post. Five pixels here and zero at the bottom. And background color of white. Refresh this. Okay. Almost, but give this no shadow. Let's remove the shadow. Okay, so this is going to be it for this episode. This is mainly for to make this site look a little bit more appealing and more enjoyable to use. 
uh, you can there's a bunch of CSS tutorials way better that can explain anything way better than me uh, go ahead and watch those if you want to learn how to style your own website but this is gonna be it for now uh, if you want you can go ham on uh, you know on the admin panel etc oh actually let's remove this create post since we're not creating posts here anymore um, okay but you can see the website so will sort of look identical on both uh, the browser and basically it, it's responsive design and nothing too complicated and uh, yeah mumbling on basically as a as a little bonus let's go ahead into our admin panel where we log in you can see that when we type in our password uh, it just types in letters so one way you can handle this is let's go into our off login and type password right and now bosh we get secure fields but we are using a powerful framework and we don't want to do this let's go into our view models where we have our view model for the login <laughs> and let's type in data type and in here we can say data type dot password uh, let's refresh this let it recompile make sure i remove the password here i did do, 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 do. and you can see it's still a password so now the whole app recognizes that Password is a password and not just on the HTML side. Uh, all right, this is it for this tutorial. Do not worry about this text right here. We are in the future episodes. I'm going to show you how to use a JavaScript text editor and how to how to use it to basically uh, make this text a little bit more appealing and. I'll allow you, to, allow you to style it without hand, handling that logic yourself. But for now, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I'll answer them all. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode.